Hello everyone, you are welcome to how to solve this very nice Diophantine equation. 3 times a plus b plus c is equal to a b plus b c plus c a. Our job is to find all possible values of a, b and c such that a, b and c are positive integers. So, let's start. First, we suppose that we suppose that a is equal to b and b is equal to c. So, this original equation will become 3 times a plus a plus a is equal to a times a plus a times a plus a times a. Next, 3 times this a plus a plus a will become 3 times a is equal to this a times a will become a squared plus this will become a squared plus this will become a squared. Now, this is 3 times 3 a will become 9 times a is equal to this will become 3 a squared. Since a, b and c are positive integers means that a is greater than 0. So, we can divide both sides by 3 times a. Left hand side we divide by 3 times a and right hand side we divide by 3 times a. So, this 3 a will be cancelled out and we are left with a and this 3 a will be cancelled out and at left hand side we are left with 3. So, from here we get the value of a is equal to 3. Since a is equal to b is equal to c, so from here we get b is equal to 3 and c also equal to 3. It means from this case we get first pair of solutions a comma b comma c is equal to 3 comma 3 comma 3. Now we copy the original equation. We suppose that uh, we suppose that a is less than or equal to b and b is less than or equal to c. And uh, first we set the value of a is equal to 1. Then this equation will become 3 times uh, a is 1 plus uh, b plus c is equal to 1 time b will become b plus uh, b times c plus 1 times c will become c. Now, we distribute this 3, 3 times 1 will become 3, 3 times b, 3 b and 3 times c will become plus 3 c is equal to b plus b c plus c. Move these two terms 3 b and 3 c to the right hand side then this will become b plus b c plus c minus 3 times b minus 3 times c is equal to 3. Now, we further simplify this expression. We write this b times c first b times c. This b minus 3 b will become negative 2 times b and this c minus 3 c will become negative 2 times c is equal to 3. Now, we add 4 to both sides this will become b times c minus 2 times b minus 2 c. We add 4 at the left hand side is equal to 3 and we add 4 at the right hand side. Now from these two terms we can factor out b in bracket left c minus 2. From these two terms we can factor out negative 2 in bag left c minus 2 is equal to 3 plus 4 7. Now, this is c minus 2 is a common factor. So, we factor out this is c minus 2 and in bag left b minus 2 is equal to 7. Now, because a, b and c are positive integers. So, this 7 can be factorized as 1 times 7 or 7 times 1. 
and uh, we have supposed that uh, a is less than or equal to b and b is less than or equal to c we have supposed that uh, a is less than or equal to b and b is less than or equal to c so this uh, b minus 2 b minus 2 must be less than or equal to this c minus 2 so this second case is 7 times 1 will be rejected and uh, we accept only this case 1 times 7 so we can rewrite this expression as uh, b minus 2 times uh, c minus 2 is equal to 1 times 7 and from here we write this b minus 2 b minus 2 equal to 1 and we write this uh, c minus 2 equal to 7 from here we get the value of b is equal to 3 and from here we get the value of c is equal to 9 and first we have supposed that uh, a is equal to we have supposed that a is equal to 1 we have supposed that a is equal to 1 so from here we get the second solution a comma b comma c is equal to 1 comma 3 comma 9 now we copy the original equation and now we suppose that a is equal to 2 suppose that a is equal to 2 so this uh, original equation will become 3 times uh, 2 plus uh, b plus c is equal to 2 times uh, b plus uh, b times c plus uh, 2 times c distribute this 3 this will become 3 times 2 6 and 3 times b plus uh, 3 b 3 times c will become plus 3c is equal to 2b plus bc plus 2c move these two terms to the right hand side this will become 2b plus b times c plus 2 times c minus 3b minus 3c is equal to 6 Now we rearrange these terms. First we write this b times c, b times c. This 2b minus 3b will become negative b. This 2c minus 3c will become negative c is equal to 6. And we add 1 to both sides. This will become b times c minus b minus c plus 1 is equal to 6 plus 1. From these two terms we can factor out b in bracket left is c minus 1 and from these two terms we can factor out negative 1 in bracket left is c minus 1 is equal to 6 plus 1 7 now this is c minus 1 is a common factor so we factor out this c minus 1 and in bracket left b minus 1 is equal to 7 and a b and c are positive integers so this 7 can be factorized as 1 times 7 or 7 times 1 and we have supposed that a is less than or equal to b and b is less than or equal to c so this b minus 1 b minus 1 must be less than or equal to c minus 1 so this second case is 7 times 1 will be rejected and we rewrite this expression as uh, b minus 1 times uh, c minus 1 is equal to 1 times 7 so this uh, b minus 1 b minus 1 is equal to 1 and uh, c minus 1 is equal to 7 from this equation we get the value of b is equal to 2 and from this equation we get c is equal to 8 and uh, first we have supposed that uh, a is equal to 2 first we have supposed that uh, a is equal to 2 so
so the third solution is a comma b comma c is equal to 2 comma 2 comma 8 now again we copy the original equation this is the original equation and for a is equal to 3 we have already found the solution 3 comma 3 comma 3 so now we suppose that a is equal to 4 so this uh, original equation will become 3 times uh, 4 plus uh, b plus uh, c is equal to 4 times b plus uh, b times c plus uh, 4 times c distribute this 3 this will become 12 and uh, 3 times b will become 3 b and 3 times c will become 3 times c is equal to 4 b plus b c plus 4 c if we subtract 3 b and 3 c from both sides we get the equation b times c plus b plus c is equal to 12 if we subtract 3 b and 3 c from both sides we get the equation b c plus b plus c is equal to 12 and we add 1 to both sides from these two terms uh, we can factor out b in bracket left uh, c plus 1 and from these two terms uh, we can factor out plus 1 in bracket left uh, c plus uh, 1 is equal to 13 now we factor out this uh, c plus 1 c plus 1 as common factor and in bracket left uh, b plus 1 is equal to 13 and a b and c are positive integers so this 13 can be factorized as 1 time 13 or 13 times 1 and we have supposed that a is less than or equal to b and b is less than or equal to c so this b plus 1 b plus 1 must be less than or equal to c plus 1 so this is second case 13 times 1 will be rejected and we rewrite this expression as b plus 1 times c plus 1 equal to 1 time 13 and from here we write this b plus 1 is equal to 1 and this c plus 1 is equal to 13 from this equation we get the value of b is equal to 0 and from this equation we get the value of c is equal to 12 since uh, a b and c are positive integers means that uh, a b and c must be greater than or equal to 1 but this b is equal to 0 so this is not possible this will be rejected So finally we get uh, three solutions for a comma b comma c the first is uh, 3 comma 3 comma 3 and the second is uh, 1 comma 3 comma 9 and the third is uh, 2 comma 2 comma 8 and also can be permutations of uh, these three solutions.